Travel is no longer a luxury. With low-cost flights, hostel stays, the ability to easily search for the best deals, and tons of life hacks for cheap travel, someone on a budget can comfortably experience a new culture and relaxation without breaking a bank. Does that mean there's no longer a distinction between regular and high-end tourism? Of course not. But this distinction is much more nuanced and involves more than opulent shopping, expensively decorated hotel rooms, and private jets. Let's explore how luxury travel is now different. Luxury travel is the fastest growing travel segment in Eastern and Western Europe, South Asia, and North America. The number of the ultra-wealthy is growing, and in emerging economies like China, India, South Africa, Brazil, and Indonesia, the middle class is on the rise too. People are leveling up their life standards and purchasing power and seeking more exclusive travel experiences. Besides, luxury experiences are recovering faster from the COVID-19 pandemic. Order will be restored. 2022 was a year of bucket list travel with people eager to seize the moment and go on the best trip of their lives to make up for the lost time and spend what they've saved during lockdowns. And at a time when every type of traveler can choose their own taste in luxury, the definition of luxury travel has changed. From the glamour of the 1920s cruise ships and the golden age of air travel in the 1950s, luxury travel typically meant some kind of first-class, five-star, over-the-top experience with champagne and rooftop jacuzzis. Basically, luxury was associated with lavishness and materialism. And while, yes, there are still many travelers who look for finer things, the market overall has skewed towards finer experiences. The luxury traveler is no longer satisfied with the most expensive hotel rooms or Michelin star restaurants. They crave unique, distinctive experiences that have yet to be discovered by the masses. A remote, privately organized hike in Nepal with a meal in a local family's home. A culinary tour through France complemented with a truffle hunt and oyster harvesting paddling along the UNESCO site in Ecuador and observing vibrant Amazonian biodiversity. Today's luxury travel is thought to revolve around five Cs. Culture. Travelers seek to explore the unique traditions and cultural heritage of the region. Cuisine. Authentic culinary experiences, cooking classes, or even tours fully dedicated to challenging their taste buds are worth a lot to luxury travelers. Community. Despite the stereotype, luxury travelers crave sharing their experiences with like-minded individuals and want to partake in small group tours. Content. Those seeking exclusive travelers want to see marketing materials to match. Beautiful photos, videos, and web content must perfectly visualize the experience they'll be getting. Customization. Bespoke, tailor-made, and personalized are some of the keywords used in luxury proposals, providing consumers more choice and the ability to tweak every detail of the tour to their liking. One of the focal components that sets luxury travel apart is personal assistance. The availability of someone to help customers make a choice or even choose for them, tend to all their wants and needs, be available 24-7, and be caring and attentive. This is in contrast to mass travel, which has become more self-service, where travelers can plan their trips entirely online. Although AI and machine learning are heavily used in online travel agencies to personalize travel search and planning, they can't access experiences that haven't been posted online and are not available to the general public. Destination management companies, tour guides, and luxury travel agents have connections and understanding of the local infrastructure and supply which allows them to organize private tours to those who are willing to pay more. 
So what exactly do people today splurge on? Here are some trends in the luxury travel market. With mental health and physical well-being topping everyone's priorities lately, people are turning to wellness travel. Globally, travelers are estimated to spend over $600 billion on trips that include wellness activities. Wellness travel options not only include standard spa experiences, but such services as workouts, healthy eating, meditation sessions, and the ultimate in relaxation and sleeping experiences. The focus is on activities that bring substantial health benefits, nourishment, and healing. Getaways dedicated to following specific self-improvement programs, including yoga, massages, balanced meals, and different types of therapies are becoming more and more available. Besides, wellness tourism goes hand in hand with another trend called transformative travel. Transformative travel means traveling with an intention to personally grow and connect with your inner world through life-changing experiences. This can include trying a new lifestyle, volunteering, disconnecting from technology, or learning about a different philosophy. Although transformative travel is not always high-end, it's typically more expensive since it's focused on unique, once-in-a-lifetime trips that are less accessible and affordable. In our day and age, self-development is also associated with sustainability, so experiences that are mindful of that are particularly valued. On the other side of the spectrum is another important luxury travel trend, the wow factor. Many luxury travelers expect to be impressed with unique, not for the masses adventures with the bar constantly being raised. And this doesn't have to be tours or landmarks. Any experience that's different from the conventional can wow a client from exceptional customer service to one-of-a-kind design. Technology can play an important role too, with apps and devices instantly challenging the status quo. Another trend to be on the lookout for is themed travel. People are seeking curated tours dedicated to a particular theme, like visiting the places they've seen in their favorite films and TV series. Heritage or ancestry trips to explore one's own genealogy, culinary vacations for experiencing authentic local cuisine, or art tours to visit private museums and learning about art history. Luxury travelers can get very specific with their interests and request truly niche itineraries from travel assistants. Finally, a large group of travelers is doing luxury trips for celebrations. Those who might not choose high-end options all of the time are willing to splurge to celebrate birthdays, graduations, anniversaries, and other milestones in one big trip once every few years. Impressive, unique experiences are important with such consumers, though they may compromise in some areas to indulge in others. Such trips are often done with friends or extended multi-generational family to share important moments together. All in all, luxury travel positions itself as a diverse market with various purposes and traveler types. The luxury travel industry is going through transformation. This transformation welcomes everyone to their exclusive travel experiences, which means that everyone becomes a potential customer. It's no longer about who you're catering to. It's about how you can provide the best possible experience to each client. What's of the most value to them? What do they prioritize? And what does luxury mean to them? Destination management companies and other traditional luxury service providers must embrace that modern people are seeking things that make them feel rich on the inside, that make them feel fulfilled. Helping them get that is the hardest, but the most rewarding part.